I feel dirty. I feel really dirty and bad. Why? Because I switched to... No, I won't tell you. But I switched my daily driver. And it is dirty. Just dirty. Hi, this is Carsten with OpenTech. And while you are here, don't forget to like, to subscribe and to hit and to hit the notification bell since it helps. And now let me tell you about my struggles and my decision making process and what I ended up with. Dirty. I'm running my daily driver as a VM on my Proxmox cluster. This gives me the best of both worlds, the flexibility of a virtual machine combined with the ease of it, just a very small performance hit. My machine has an RTX 3060 and I have a Focusrite Scarlett attached to the machine for my audio concerns. I do PCI pass-through, so I can use these components natively within the machine and the same is true for all of the USB ports. By the way, if you want me to do a video on that, just let me know in the comments below. My use case is a lot of OBS Studio with screen sharing, software and infrastructure development. My daily driver has been Arch for the past one and a half years and it went well. I had major issues for like three times. So I'm perfectly fine with that. Again, worked great and I truly love Arch. But over the past weeks, things became worse for no apparent reason. My camera stopped working with the VM, but worked flawlessly with other installations. My sound broke over and over again. The VM slowed down and all of my efforts of fixing that did not have any sustainable success. And since this is my daily driver. I don't have the time to fiddle with it. And as I'm running Linux, have my data in my local Nextcloud on my NAS, on my Proxmox, AVM is only some sort of a unit of work. If it breaks, I won't fix it and install a new one instead. So I decided to set up a new daily driver. You know that I'm loving Debian. It is after Arch, my go-to distro. So I decided to give it a go. Downloaded it, installed it, and converted it to Debian SIT. And by the way, if you want to know how to do that, let me know in the comments below. I happily create a video on that. So I installed the drivers for my GPU, which is pretty simple with a new iteration of Debian. I installed OBS via Flatpak and I deleted the VM. I did have issues with screen sharing in OBS under Wayland and I had to adjust too many things and had to work too hard to circumvent that. Again, daily driver, right? You don't have any time to waste, it just needs to work. So no, not Debian. You might know that I have a somewhat long but complicated relationship with SUSE and OpenSUSE. The OS actually is pretty elegant, but just. I anyhow decided to give OpenSUSE Tumbleweed a go and I downloaded their net install version, installed it, which took like 90 minutes because it downloads a lot of data, rebooted and was greeted with an error message stating that the EFI BIOS driver thingy would not be accessible from the bootloader and therefore the system could not boot. I did not investigate into that. I just backed out of the VM and deleted it. Sorry. Next, I decided and figured it would probably make more sense to go a bit more like a mainstream and stable route. So I figured why not try out Fedora? I don't like Fedora because of its Red Hat ownership. But apart from that, it's a pretty elegant and pretty straightforward and modern distribution. So give it a go. It is for the daily driver. That is basically not the machine that you love to work upon. It is the machine you have to work upon, right? So I installed it. I updated it. I installed the NVIDIA drivers, which is pretty terrible with Fedora. I installed OBS and immediately had the same issues as with Debian. Black screen sharing on OBS under Wayland. And when I switched to X11 as a fallback, the performance became truly sluggish. So no, not Fedora. And I'm not too unhappy about that, to be honest. So back to Arch then. I mean, I worked 
on it for like one and a half years and I truly love it. It is on both of my framework laptops and on my ThinkPad, but as a daily driver, I already decided this time I wanted to have something more stable. So no, no arch here, although I'm pretty sure this will change pretty soon. But for now, no, no arch. Okay, here we are. No Debian, no OpenSUSE, no Fedora, no Arch. What is left? Well, it now gets truly messy. Talking about Ubuntu. I really don't like Ubuntu. Their take on GNOME and on many other things is abysmal. And they have a preference to snap while I prefer flat packs. So definitely no, no Ubuntu desktop for me. But then I remembered something I did back in the days when I disliked a desktop operating system or a desktop focused distro. I went with the server version of the respective operating system. So I installed Ubuntu Server and I added vanilla GNOME on top of that. So no Ubuntu GNOME crap, just plain vanilla GNOME. By the way, if you want to know how to do that, let me know in the comments below. I then installed Flatpaks and starting there, driver installation generally, no issues. I easily installed and configured my NVIDIA drivers. OBS via Flatpak, not an issue at all. I installed it, I started it, and in fact, even the virtual camera worked out of the box without me having to install additional components or to configure anything. Screen sharing in Wayland, not an issue at all. And even X11 as a fallback works awesome. It's fast, responsive, and fluid. There are still many things I dislike about Ubuntu, be it server or desktop, but I settled with Ubuntu server as my new daily driver for the time being. I would not have guessed that previously, and in all honesty, I feel dirty. That is, ah, way beyond my comfort zone. But it is not about personal preference here. It is about having an operating system that just works. And frankly, when it comes to that, Ubuntu Server, currently at least, ticks all the boxes for me. But I feel dirty. So what do you think? Do you decide for your daily driver by heart or with a rational approach? Let me know in the comments below and let me know what you run as your daily driver. I'm truly interested. And while you are there, don't forget to like, to subscribe, and to hit the notification bell, since it helps. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Ciao. Dirty. Oh.